Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you guys from my car today and I am having a pretty good day. I just wanted to do a vlog where I just kind of catch you guys up on my life because it's been a while. I went to Nashville and you guys saw that. I posted a lot of Nashville videos and then I posted a lot of Paul videos and I have not done a true catch back up with me kind of vlog. So today I'm going to give you some life updates. I'm going to do a Shein haul because I bought some stuff from Shein and you guys, it's fire. I can't even believe it. Um, supporting Shein is something that I try not to do too often, but I also understand that as much as fast fashion is hurtful, it's also um, the only thing that can be accessible to some people, so I think it's definitely a touchy topic, but I did place an order from Shein. I got six items, and I want to show you guys them and do a little try-on haul because um, they look really, really nice, and they just surprised me, these items, so yeah. First things first, we're in my car because I am going to get a coffee to kind of reward myself for an interview I just had. I'm really excited, you guys. I just had a final round of interviews and it was like the last step before they make an offer or don't make an offer. So by early next week, I'll know if they're going to offer me the position or not. And the interviews just went so well. I felt like I articulated. I felt like I articulated myself well and that I have a really good shot at getting the position. So I'm hopeful and excited. And now I'm gonna go get an iced coffee because you guys know I love iced coffee. And I am kind of rewarding myself for that because I have been so stressed leading up to this interview. I mean, for weeks on end, I've just been stressed and like anxious about it. So I'm glad it's over and I'm glad it went well. And now we're gonna go get iced coffee. I'll shut up and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So let's do it. you guys I have to interrupt that cute little montage I was making for this update because I feel like this is so me um, to do this but I'm sitting outside of Newgrounds coffee house where I was gonna go get coffee and then I realized that my other favorite coffee house Rev coffee house is literally seven minutes from here so I wouldn't be driving that much extra to go there instead and it sounds better right now so even though I just drove all the way here I'm you can literally see it you guys there's the sign for you I'm already here, but now I'm gonna leave and go get Rev Coffee House instead because I low key think I like it better, but um, it was kind of dumb for me to drive all the way here just to switch. So that's the update. I'm going to Rev Coffee House. I'll show you guys. Uh, they're both really good if you live in Columbus and near Hilliard. Near Hilliard, Newgrounds Coffee House is so good and Rev Coffee House is so good. They're two of my top favorite local places. Um, yeah, let's go to Rev. Alright you guys, I just got my coffee from Rev Coffee House. It is so fire today. I love how giant it is. It's like as big as my head. Um, I feel like their cost is pretty good for how big the coffees are. I mean, this was five bucks and I feel like it's kind of comparable to Starbucks, but a little bit cheaper and better quality and local. So I've been trying to support local lately with my coffee purchases. Anyways, I'm about to head back. It's noon now, so I'm gonna go home, eat lunch, and then get my work day started because my interview is two hours, so I haven't worked yet today, but see you when we get there. I'm home, I'm gonna have lunch, and then I'm gonna paint my nails because they're really ugly, and I'll show you guys. And then I am working, like I said, but before all of that, I wanna give you guys a plant update. So I used to love having plants, but I killed them all um, when I moved from my college dorm to an apartment and then I never really got more. Um, I got a few like flowers that I planted in the flower box on my porch. If you've been watching for a long time, you remember I planted them there. They all died. Um, but now I have new succulents and I really want to show them to you guys because they're doing well. They're thriving. And yeah, let me show you. First one is outside and it is a hanging plant and I can't remember what it's called, but the pot that it's hanging in, whoa, it's 
sorry I fell the pot that it's hanging in I actually got from the dollar aisle of Target and I made it like let me just show you guys but I made the rope and tied the knots in it and then put the pot in there and planted it in there so it's looking really cute and it's getting big all right my next plant is a Christmas cactus this is something that Angela bought me for Christmas or my birthday I can't remember but Angela bought me a Christmas cactus honestly a few years ago this one has um been alive for a really long time but let me show you actually I should probably water it today but it's thriving honestly looks good so that's my cr Christmas cactus so I got a cactus this is so cute it's my first cactus this is not a good view let me go in the sunlight all right here maybe you guys can see it yeah so this is my first ever little cactus. He's prickly and I've never touched the spikes, but I don't plan that because they look really spiky. But that's my cactus. I just have my regular succulent. Sorry, I don't know what any of these are called, you guys. This is my little succulent. I think it's so cute. I've really kept her alive, living strong. And yeah, I wanted to give you guys this plant update so that we can document this process together. And if I kill any of them, I'll let you know but I think they're gonna grow to be really, really big and I'm so excited. I am having this chicken ramen stir fry that I made yesterday. It's just leftovers that I heated up. And then I'm also making some egg rolls in the air fryer and it's gonna be a good lunch and I will see you guys in a bit. for my Shein haul. I told you guys I would show you everything I picked up. So I'm gonna show you right now. I have you guys sitting on my windowsill and I'm just gonna say we're moving. So don't judge the background if you end up seeing stacks of boxes and it's just a giant mess um, everywhere in our apartment right now. But I wanted to give you guys this haul because I said I would and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will show you guys. Um, a screenshot of each item as I talk about it so that if you guys want to find it you can go to the description below and click on the link or you can search it by um, searching the product name from the screenshot you know you get the gist and yeah we're just gonna start let me set you guys up so that you can see the full look and we'll get started all right you guys so I just pulled out all of the items that I got I'm excited to show you um, this angle isn't great but I want to put it like this so that you guys can see my full outfits so I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing. I got this two-piece set, so it says, I don't really know what this means at all, like I just thought it was cute, but it says, Honey Baby in 2021, Beautiful Soul. Very random, doesn't bother me that it's kinda random because I think it's cute. It's just this, um, I guess it's almost like a coffee color, a really, really light creamy coffee color, and it's just a cropped sweatshirt, and then drawstring shorts, I love it. It was super affordable. And I've been wearing it all day, and I have to say it's so comfy. The inside is fuzzy, if you guys can tell. Yeah, it is really, really soft and really, really cute, and I love it. And I will say I'm normally a small slash medium in tops, and I would definitely say small on bottoms, depending on the brand. Um, so my waist is like a small, but my hips are like a medium or a large. So I will be telling you guys all my sizes, I believe I got this in a medium, but if I'm wrong, I'll put it on screen. But yeah, this is the first set and I am so obsessed with it. Overall, I would rate this set a four out of five. I really wanna give it a five out of five, but there's two things that kind of bother me. The first is that this embroidery is actually navy blue. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell. I thought it was black when I ordered it and it looks pretty much um, close to black in real life, but definitely navy blue and I just wish it were black. I don't feel like navy complements this color well, but that's just me and secondly the shorts do not have pockets there's just a seam down the side and no pockets so if it had pockets and black embroidery I'd give it a five out of five but because of those things I have to give it a four so moving into the next tops I'm just gonna try all of these on with jeans to show you guys what they look like with an outfit but yeah first we have this top this is so cute it's a halter style top and it is kind of like a leopard print or like some sort of animal print with brown and pink. And my goal with this order was to not get too many neutral 
uh, colors because I get neutral everything. So I wanted to pick out a few more colorful items and this is one of them. So this just has an elastic band that goes around you and then it just has two pieces in the front and it's a halter. So it is completely open on the back uh, other than this elastic band. So let me just try this on for you guys. Here's the pink top you guys. So definitely very cropped as you can see. This is what it looks like from the side and the back. So this one is super cropped. I need to figure out what kind of jeans I would want to wear with this. I feel like I don't love the asymmetric look with the really crazy pattern tops. So I feel like I need to go with something more basic on the bottom. Maybe just high-waisted plain denim shorts or something like that. But I love this top. I love that halter tops are kind of back in style and people are wearing halter tops all the time. So I love, love, love this top. I think it is so cute. It is a little bit... Um, not supportive and not safe like it's just there i feel perfectly comfortable because i have a smaller chest but if you don't um it's probably not the top for you it is not supportive it's not super secure all you do is tie it behind your neck like i have here so i just put mine in a bow and it's pretty comfortable for me but if you have a larger chest than me which i just wear a 34b so if you're larger chested than that it might be a bit of a risk but i think it's a really cute top overall and I would give this one a four out of five. Next we have this super, super cute top. I got two, oh, I just untied it. One second. I got two tops that have ties on the side that kind of ruche and tie up the side. Um, a trend that I've really been liking, but I mean, it's a trend I've been liking on other people, but I hadn't tried it for myself. So that is why I picked out two tops with it. I thought it would be really flattering. And I think it is after trying it out. So I got this super cute top. I guess this is like a Dalmatian print. I don't really know what you would call it. Maybe it's leopard, maybe it's Dalmatian. I don't know. But black and white tank top and it has the ruching on the side like I mentioned and bows on the side. And this one's definitely a little more cropped than I would like. Um, I'll probably be wearing this more at home or more with active wear um, than I would with probably jeans just because it's more cropped than I would normally prefer but it's still super super cute so let's try it on okay so here's what the top looks like on as i mentioned it is super short um you can untie it and make it adjustable but even if i were to fully adjust it it's only this long like it just doesn't get any longer than that so it is definitely shorter i am 5'9 and i feel like the longest part of my body is my torso rather than my legs so i have a hard time with crop tops um, so this is cute. I definitely think I would wear it more often with biker shorts or leggings, but it's still a super cute top, super comfy, super good material. It's really stretchy and really cute. So overall, I like it, but I would say if I were to rate it, I would probably give it a three out of five. Next, we have this lavender tank top. Like I said, I want to get some more colors in my wardrobe and I am obsessed with how this looks on. I'm honestly so shocked at the quality of this, but this is just a ripped tank and it buttons up the front and I believe they actually unbutton. Yeah, they do. They actually unbutton and I like that it has this little V. I don't know. It's not a V neck, but you guys know what I mean. It has like a little bit of a cut in the middle and I think it's super flattering um, that they added that instead of just going straight across. So I love this and let's try it on. Here is the lilac Tank. So this is a bit of a thicker strap and then it has the V cutout that I mentioned and just buttons all the way down and I love this top. I think it's so flattering. It is really comfortable. The size is great. I told you guys I would say my size and everything and then I forgot so it'll be on screen but this is what it looks like and I'm obsessed with this top. I can see myself wearing it with jeans, with leggings, with bikers, shorts, whatever. Like, I think it's such a versatile piece and it adds a pop of color, which is really nice. So I would give this a five out of five. Okay, so like the Dalmatian slash leopard black and white top, um, I got another top with the scrunchies on the sides, like I told you guys. And this one is definitely my favorite um, of the two because this one is a lot longer. I mentioned the other one was super short. It's almost like a bralette top. This is more like a regular shirt, and if you guys buy these, you can unscrunch them or scrunch them more, so the length is more adjustable, but I'm pretty tall, so even with it like very minimally scrunched, it's still kind of short on me for the other one, 
but this one is perfect. This material is not ribbed. The other one was, but this is just a regular cotton material. So soft and I love it. So let's try it on. Here's the gray top, has the ties on the side. This one is a little bit longer than the black and white one, as you can see. So this is what it looks like. And honestly, this is one of my favorite tops out of everything that I picked up because it's so neutral, but it also has the ties on the side. So it's not just like a plain shirt, it has a little bit of character, if you will. And I think it's so cute. So this is definitely one of my favorites. And I would give it a five out of five. And the last shirt is one that I've been wearing actually quite a bit already. Sorry to say it because I literally just got these and I've been wearing it all the time. But it's so cute and I really like this with biker shorts. This is an aqua blue top. More color. Kind of matches my nails actually that I just did today. But just an aqua blue tank top. It is ribbed. It has thicker straps and it is cropped. And there's not a lot to say about it. But I'm going to try it on for you guys just like the rest. Let's do that. All right, here is the blue tank, and I have to say, I love how much it matches my nails. It's kind of cute. Um, personally, I would never wear this with jeans just because I don't like this color combo here. Um, so I would definitely wear this one with leggings, bikers, something that's just not blue. So maybe even white shorts would be really cute with it. But here's what it looks like. And yeah, there's not a lot to say about this one. It's ribbed, like I mentioned, and super comfy, and I would give it a five out of five. All right, you guys, that concludes the haul portion of this video. Um, this video might end here, or it might continue if we go to the grocery store tonight when Angelo gets home from work. So I will either see you guys at the grocery store, or I'll see you guys when I'm saying goodbye. So thanks for joining me in this haul portion of the video. All right, you guys, Angelo just got home. I can see him walking up. So it's time to say hi to Angelo and hopefully go to the store because we need some groceries and I really want to have pizza for dinner. So maybe we'll get a cauliflower pizza, but we'll see what Angelo says. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the vlog. Huh? Welcome to the vlog. Stop to get gas before we go home. Wave to the vlog. Angela's checking the oil as one does every time I get my gas. <laughs> and then we're going home to have pizza for dinner. Woohoo! All right, you guys, the pizza is looking so good. It's the Aldi cauliflower crust pizza, our favorite. We're obsessed with it. And we have some salads over there. And we are going to eat it and watch Kardashians in our bed. And it's going to be so fun. Right, babe? Hee <laughs> hee. Then I'm going to FaceTime my best friend and see her new house. And I'll show you guys. And I'm going to end the vlog. So, see you in a bit. All right, you guys. Here I am. With Angela. Get in the screen. Why do you look so sad? Look happy. Ew. <laughs> And we're about to call Cree and see her house, so let's see if she picks up and I'll vlog her. Just drinking wine out of the bottle. <laughs> what? She hung up on me. Here we are. Say hi to the vlog. What's up? All right, you guys. <laughs> you can see Angela looks like a blob. All right, you guys. Ooh. Thanks so much <laughs> for watching my day. And this is horrible quality, but I just wanted to say goodnight because we're going to bed and I forgot to end the vlog. So hope you enjoyed a little bit of a life update and I will see you guys all soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.